What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a sound sensor with the Raspberry Pi. The things you're going to need for this build include a uh, sound sensor, uh, three female to female jumper cables, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. So, all these uh, components will be in the description below. And with that said, let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is wire up the sound sensor. So I have brown, black, and white here for the jumper cable. So I'm just going to plug in uh, the white cable to VCC. So that's power. That will be going to the 5 volt pin. Um, black jumper cable goes to ground. And this brown jumper cable will be the digital out uh, signal. So, that, so now that that's set up, let's go ahead and uh, plug this in onto the Pi. So the white pin goes to this five volt pin, which is the first pin on the top row. Uh, black goes to ground, so any available ground will do. So that's the third pin on the top. And then finally we have digital, the signal pin, and that will just go to GPIO 17. And there we go, we're pretty much done. So now that you have it all wired up, we're actually gonna have to power up the Pi and adjust this pot sensor because um, by default, it'll probably be not dialed in. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna plug in my Raspberry Pi here. So as you can see, um, this the Pi powers up and so does the sensor and you're presented with these two lights. So the red light just uh, indicates that the circuit board is getting power and this green light is actually the input reading. So if we adjust this pot, um, we want to get it so the light turns off but when we make noise, it, it blinks. So as you can see, I adjusted it. So now every time I speak, uh, it comes on a little bit. And if I knock here, the same thing. So I'm just gonna fine tune this a little bit more until, okay, hello. So now it's really sensitive. You can see every time I speak up, it's glowing pretty bright. So that's kind of what we want. Um, this sensor doesn't record actual audio, it just picks up the decibel value. So think of it as like a binary switch. So every time you speak, uh, it'll send a high signal, uh, hence the light turning on. So it's either, it's either on or it's off. So this sensor sort of has limited use cases, but that's pretty much how you need to get everything set up for the Pi. Um, physically, so with all that said, let's head over to the computer and look at some code. And I've pulled up this Python script, which will be used to control uh, the sound sensor. So as you can see here, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's kind of similar to this script I created for another video, the vibration sensor. So it acts almost um, in an identical fashion. So I'll just run through it real quick, you know, up um, on lines one through three, you know, we're just uh, importing the GPIO library and the time, and then five through eight, we're setting up the pin. In this case, it's pin 17. And then this uh, callback function here just prints out a sound detected um, message whenever there's a change in the input. And then, uh, 16 and 17 here is where all the magic happens. It lets us know, you know, when the pin goes high or low, and then when that happens, it just calls this callback function. And this infinite loop here just runs constantly, and the time.sleep um, just puts in a small wait in between. So with all that said and done, we can go ahead and test this out. So um, I've already uploaded this to my Pi. So now if I do python sound.py and hit run. Uh, 
uh, nothing happens, I need to go over there and make some uh, noise and you'll see in a quick second, so let me go ahead and do that. So there you go, as you can see, um, you know, I just knocked a couple times and it, sh it detected the sound. <clears throat> So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get the sound sensor set up with the Raspberry Pi. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you know, if you want to help the channel, just leave a like and subscribe and uh, go ahead over to those affiliate links and buy a couple things. I always appreciate it. Um, yeah, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.